Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to ask this very simple question. Why did you switch to Linux? Was it freedom on your computer? I mean, Linux offers a wide variety of systems, services, desktop systems, even point of service systems, a whole spectrum of things. For me, I was happy on Windows. I was working on my websites, I was tied to my Adobe software, and like many people, I was not really interested in change. But sometimes change is the path of least resistance. When it comes to being forced to use the computer in specific ways or to give up privacy to make our software better, I was not really interested in participating. Change was upon me, whether I liked it or not. So I had a choice. Do I change with Windows and give up more of my private life than I wanted to? Or do I change to a system that gave me better control over my own computer? I remember those first days of owning my computer. I was not one of those supercomputer users who was weaned on DOS. I never hobbied with computers as a preteen. In fact, I went out of my way to avoid computers until I realized a few points. First, computers are probably going to be the future. And second, I did actually want to be more than a bum in my life. I bought my very first computer in high school, and I was the envy of computer geeks with my amazing Pentium 100 megahertz, Pentium 5, my rip-roaring 32 megabytes of RAM, and my sound blaster in true color display. My hard drive was so big that the guy who built my computer said I will never fill it. It had 1.6 amazing gigabytes. <laughs> That's right. Now, before you think I might be too amateurish to listen to computer advice, I must tell you that though I move slow, I am a force when I do move. I was not able to spend $2,000 on a computer to do nothing but solitaire. It just wasn't in me. I was, after all, that geek in high school that resisted calculators and then I was forced to spend $100 of my poor family's money on a graphing calculator for school. And that was a lot of money back then. I would be darned if I was going to take that calculator and just use it for 2 plus 2. I read the manual that came with that calculator and I taught myself basic programming language. A friend who was one of these young guys weaned on the screen, he said I could not learn a program language that quickly. So I asked him for an idea for a program, and he was learning something about geometry in high school at the time. Actually, he might have actually still been in middle school. He told me something relating to geometry. I said, all right, give me a week. And in about a week's time, I came back with a program written on BASIC to do a variety of geometry calculations based in a variety of different things. <laughs> Indeed, I go all in when I go in. I might move slow, but I am firm when I do. Such was it was when I switched my office to run off of Linux. Prior to that time, I had a few computers, and I would manually transfer all my audio files to each computer so I could listen to something in the background while they worked. Some of the computers were mobile, some of them were not. Now, however, I have an entire central server running on Debian, that manages movies, music, files for every device in the house. <laughs> no more massively transferring files to everything. Gone are the days of having a giant T DVD rack by my television. And now that I have a Raspberry Pi on the back, that includes online video, a massive movie collection, music of all sorts, and even the sermons that I might like to listen to. And yes, I'm one of them believers in God. Yes, since I bit the bullet and changed to Linux, I have been happier and way more productive. 
All this, of course, started with Windows and its desire to change itself to collect more of my personal data. I know that some people will suggest that once we're on the internet, there is no privacy at all. This is false, as I've explained in my series of videos recorded called Claiming Your Privacy, or Reclaiming Your Privacy, rather. A very brief summary is this. First, privacy is an ongoing thing, not a point in time. If you're trying to prevent your address or phone number from being on the internet, it's probably too late. But that's not privacy. Privacy is instead who you are. That is an existential question that ebbs and flows with our hobbies over time. Privacy is preventing the big data firms from seeing our search histories. It is keeping our files off their servers and preventing them from knowing the individual files we happen to have on our computers. That is why I switched to Linux. Control. I want to be sure that what is on my computer stays on my computer unless I explicitly put it somewhere else. I do not want some big company knowing everything that I have on my computer, including my hardware, or having a list of the individual applications. I don't want com my computer automatically connecting to their servers to update itself. I know that some people will have to keep using Windows and Mac, and that's okay with me. I have a few Macs and Windows computers around here, although mostly I use them for testing these days. Nevertheless, I want to share with you this article that showed up in my Discord server recently. The article is entitled, Removing Annoying Windows 10 Features is a DMCA Violation, says Microsoft such as the article is from Torrent Freak. The premise is simple. Of course, you've heard it. Keep using Windows, but use mm, some X application to block all the telemetry. I hear it all the time. My usual counter is that I do not want to rely on third-party tools to stop the operating system from phoning home, especially since the OS does not respect the changes I put into the host files. Yeah. I've seen that error pop up more than once. Windows defenders like, you have malicious stuff in your host files. No, I put that stuff in there intentionally. And it annoys you, <laughs> even when you tell it to ignore. Windows defender likes throwing temper tantrums these days when you try and block anything in your host file. I mean, who wants to block stuff from the internet? Free speech, right? <laughs> now, in this article from uh, Torrent Freak, a new software is called Ninjitsu OS, and it has promised to remove several telemetry applications and other ET phone home crap out of Windows. Really, however, the software is a pen testing mod. It installs several penetration testing tools to Windows while also removing several of the privacy concerns from the operating system. But the original goal, nevertheless, was to help students in penetration testing get their system ready so they could spend their time learning rather than setting up their system. Of course, the project, like many projects, was hosted on GitHub, which Microsoft purchased back in 2018. They saw this little application and what it promised to do, and Mommy Corporation was not happy. She recruited a thug called the Business Software Alliance, which issued a DMCA takedown of Ninjitsu OS. Why? Simply because, according to Windows, disabling Windows 10 features is a license breach. That's right, even if I have the knowledge to remove the spyware that Microsoft is forcing onto my computer, I am technically breaking the terms of their license, and that gives them the right to delete my operating system terminating a license, or do anything else they deem necessary with my computer that I paid for. I'm glad I jumped off the Microsoft and Windows train. Since I have, I've experienced a joy in returning to the days of tinkering with my computer. But even more importantly, I have seen an increase in productivity once I made my way over that learning curve, which honestly is not too steep. Still, if you're new to Linux, I recommend a few distros that you would check out. 
Some of my favorites are Linux Mint, Peppermint, Manjaro, and MX Linux. These are all easy to use Linux. They are uh, cater to a user-friendly environment. And I have a lot of videos on each of these on the channel, so you can check it out. Our final take home here is this. If you want more control over your computer, check out Linux. Microsoft is still showing its true colors in wanting to control the people using their computers. If you have to stick with Windows, that is fine. Just know that there is an alternative system that works great and possibly even better for some people. Thanks for watching this video. You can help support the channel by heading on over to switchtolinux.com forward slash support. And for you guys interested in the privacy options, check out the VPN affiliates listed on the affiliates page. See you guys next time, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.